Welcome to Royal Secrets. When she reenacts the fire in Archie's room, Meghan Markle makes fun of the royal lifestyle. But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. The podcast was announced almost two years after Harry and Meghan agreed to invest £18 million in an audio giant Spotify podcast initiative. On her brand new, original podcast for Spotify, Archetypes, the Duchess of Sussex made a subtle jab at royal life while speaking with Serena Williams, a tennis player and close friend. In the one-hour special, Meghan Markle discloses that her son Archie's room caught fire while she and Prince Harry were touring South Africa. Archie, who was four months old, wasn't in the room at the time, but he ought to have been dozing off by that point. When a heater in the house started to smoke in a room without smoke alarms, a fire broke out. Williams was told by the Duchess that she was shaken and in tears following the incident. Meghan remembers that she was compelled to carry on with her official duties despite the circumstances. She charged that people in charge of the trip focused on how it appears instead of how it feels. On Tuesday, August 23, Meghan debuted a new podcast series. In it, she discussed how the incident transpired during the couple's tour of South Africa in September 2019. She and Prince Harry left their son Archie with his nanny at the home of the British High Commissioner while they visited the Nyanga Township. As soon as possible, Meghan added, we went to an official engagement in this township named Nyanga. And there was this time when I was speaking to ladies and girls while perched on a tree stump. We complete the engagement, get into the car, and they inform us that the house has caught fire. A fire has broken out in the nursery. The Daily Mail adds that when they got back to the apartment, they discovered their wonderful nanny, Lauren, in floods of grief, and that she had taken Archie downstairs for his nap when the smoke was discovered. Megan claims that the heater in the nursery caught on fire in that amount of time that she was downstairs. Smoke detectors were not present. Someone entered after smelling smoke down the corridor and put out the fire. He was meant to be resting there. As a mother, you think, oh, my God, what? Megan continued. Everyone is in tears and is distraught. What must we do, then? Do another official engagement while you're out. I exclaimed, this makes no sense. Could you please explain what happened? And I believe that rather than how it feels, the attention is ultimately on how it looks. Prior to their resignation as active royals in January 2020, the trip to South Africa was their final formal engagement. The podcast was announced almost two years after Harry and Meghan agreed to invest £18 million in an audio giant Spotify podcast initiative. When the Duchess unveiled her great plan to correct public dehumanization, Meghan fought back. A pundit claimed that Meghan Markle is defending herself by suggesting that the Duchess of Sussex has discovered a method to overcome public dehumanization. However, he noted that all of this could be about to change after the publication of Archetypes, the inaugural podcast from Archwell Audio. The podcast, Mr. Scobie continued, is not only a vital discourse about how society thinks about women, but it's also a brilliant method of taking on the critics Meghan was previously unable to respond to. As someone who has been called every slur under this, Meghan has discovered a means to partially reverse some of her public dehumanization in the process, even while each episode of the show is meant to shed light on the lived experiences of other women. With the words, once stifled by the establishment, it's apparent that Meghan finally has her voice back, he commended Meghan for spearheading and whole movement. A voice that Harry and others who came after her will recognize very well. But this time, she's brought a whole movement along with it. Richard Eden, a fellow royal commentator, criticized Mr. Scobie's assertion and called it unintentionally humorous. Ahmed Scobie's recent piece, I read it, so you don't have to, is inadvertently hilarious, he wrote on Twitter. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates.